Hi everybody. I wasn't planning on filming today, so yeah, I've just don't have my hair washed or anything, but I wasn't planning on filming. But I thought it would be a really good day to start the heavy metal detox smoothie because my symptoms, and I know that a lot of you will relate to this, Thank you for commenting and creating a community, but I know a lot of you will relate to this because the symptoms can ebb and flow for me and I think I can take for granted for most of us. Anything in any way unhealthy just spikes the symptoms. Dizziness, nausea, fatigue, brain fog, heavy head, sore neck, all that, all that kind of stuff. Balance issues, tinnitus, clicking sounds in your ears, all the symptoms that I've spoken about in the other videos. So this weekend I had a five hour drive on Friday and a five hour drive back on Saturday and that would tire anyone out. But us, this fatigue, this triple PD community, it's just so much more like it affects my eyesight, my brain fog, like even you say a sentence and you just put a word in and it's as if your brain is misfiring which which pathway it's gonna take and you just get a random word and you're like, I didn't mean to say that or, or you can't find your words. So I'm very brain foggy, I'm very tired and just, it feels like a hangover. Um, and that would happen me after any type of socializing. So the added travel this weekend, it's just a lot. And I know we all pick and choose where to put our energies when we're dealing with this chronic, undiagnosed illness, but we all have the same symptoms. So someday you will know what it is, I hope, but I think it's just the perfect day, even though I didn't mean to be on camera today, <laughs> it's the perfect day to start the smoothie detox. So I'll do it for the week and I'll compile this video and see how I feel. A lot of people have been asking for updates on the other videos, which is great. And one thing that I do think really works Lion's Mane powder. I get it from a herbalist in East Clare. She's called the East Clare Herbalist. This is the Lion's Mane powder that I get. And I find when I take that much less brain fog, definitely less sinusy symptoms, just all these mad symptoms that are coming up. I ran out of it for about two weeks and I really noticed a difference. And I know there can be a million different varying factors and reasons as to why I felt different in those two weeks, but brought the powder back into my life. And I do think it helps my brain to focus. I think it's helping with nerve repair. And apart from that, maybe this adding this smoothie into the mix will be another level towards health and yeah feeling like i have my brain back <laughs> in some way feeling like we have our brains back in some way and so i hope you'll join me on the smoothie journey maybe also on the lion's mane journey another thing i did for a long time was the celery juicing you have it first thing in the morning even before you have water um, organic celery juice juiced. You can start with 250 milliliters and then work your way up to a pint of it. I found it just brilliant. I will just admit that I don't really have an excuse for falling off the celery juice wagon other than just falling out of the habit of it. So maybe with these things combined, they're time consuming and expensive. I appreciate that. But geez, when you feel the way we feel every day, you would do anything. I'm about to make this medical medium heavy metal detox. This is all to do with the brain and vertigo. I'm reading the Brain Saver book at the moment and talks at length about all my symptoms, which is kind of crazy. It makes me really, really believe in this guy. Um, so here's the ingredients that I'm going to use. I was able to find wild blueberries in the frozen section of Tesco, thankfully, because I was kind of worried about finding wild blueberries. Ordered online, just the different powders. So as you can see, our barley grass, the dulse. I think it's meant to be fresh dulse in the recipe, but I just couldn't find it. So that's what I'm going with. Just fresh orange juice, not from concentrate. And the bananas and the cilantro or coriander, as we call it here in Ireland. So I don't know looking at this, how tasty it will all be so I'm just excited to see how I feel here it is it smells like do you know that that kind of spirulina smell so let's see oh my god that's actually so much nicer than I thought it was gonna be the uh, coriander is really weird Apart from the coriander, that's very doable. I actually thought it would be kind of gross because there's a whole lot of algae seaweed type tastes <laughs> going into it, but that's actually fine. That's very doable. Okay, I will report back. Hello. So yesterday I wasn't ready to film and today I'm just out of the shower, but if I don't do it this way, I'll never fit in the smoothie and the vlogging. So day two, yesterday I felt 
amazing after the smoothie. So much so that I've been really looking forward to today and could be placebo territory. I hope not, and from what I've read about it, it's not. But as we know, trial and error of this condition and herbal or Western remedies has been such a roller coaster. So I'm just open minded. I've been really looking forward to it. I felt like just awake and alive for the first time in such a long time. And that would be amazing if the smoothie did that. So I have my second one here today. Um, so yeah, I'll check in again. I'm very excited for this and hopefully I feel the same. I've saved it for this evening because I'm gonna go and teach. So I thought maybe I'll give myself a boost before going to teach. So I'll check in again tomorrow. Hello again, everybody. So day three of taking this heavy metal detox smoothie for my brain. Uh, I'm taking it today when I've just finished teaching Pilates and working out myself. So I hope it gives me a really much needed boost at the moment. I definitely feel more alert and there's an excitement and enthusiasm along with trying this out and just having new nutrients and things that are good that are gonna nourish me in my body. Last night, I got quite a lot of vertigo worse than I would say I've had in a long time. That being said, I know this isn't gonna work overnight and I know my own body, you read so many different things in so many different places about how long you should stick to something for your body to adapt or for habits to build. I know for myself with the lion's mane powder or with drinking more water or with sleeping more, I really need to stick at it for months, so two or three months. So I know it's not gonna fix overnight. It could just be a coincidence with that I had traveled so much at the weekend and went straight into a week of work. Usually if I do anything on the weekend, fun or stressful, I feel hungover for a few days until I find some kind of equilibrium with what I'm dealing with. It's been such a long time since I felt amazing. The first day I took the smoothie, I felt amazing and that was the first time, honestly, in years that I just felt this alertness. And I know that people commenting and following these videos for dizziness will understand how that feels and what I mean by when I say that. So day three of this smoothie, fingers crossed, I'll keep letting it build. Yeah, tastes good anyway, so that's good. Hello everybody, from the Anna Kitty Hut. <laughs> so I've had a busy Pilates morning, so I'm very much looking forward to my heavy metal detox smoothie today. I'm checking in this week. I imagine I won't feel a great difference day to day, but I wanted to check in today especially because I forgot the last two days to put coriander into this recipe. And I'm wondering now if I'll notice a big difference because the first day I felt so alive and alert and the last two days I haven't felt that there's so many varying factors that feed into that I know like I've had very busy days and one night where I didn't get enough sleep and all these things add up but um yeah overall I'm gonna keep on this and I'm excited and optimistic about it I'll check in this week and then I might check in kind of monthly and then just see how it's building up that way although the first day I really did feel a dramatic rush of health and you'll take that anytime you can with whatever this on undiagnosed, undiscovered illnesses that so many of us have. Um, so yeah, the first day, that's the best I have felt in three years. So I wonder if the coriander will make a big difference or not. Yep, yeah, here we are. I will enjoy my smoothie today and I'll check in again. Hello again, everybody. Here's my little Joey, my little Joey the Maine Coon. Here's my situation. Hello, baby. Hi, Joey. So hello again everybody, here's my smoothie. I actually stopped filming, so I'd missed two days on our week together. I kept it up every day for the week and it made me break out in spots, so my skin was so bad and I had a bit of an upset tummy as well. But I know through trying so many different things, like that would be typical enough um, detox symptoms. So. I didn't kind of penalize the smoothie and get rid of it being like, God, that just made me sick. I just kept going with it. My aim for this was to have seven consecutive days and to check in. Yes, so I'm gonna keep it up for three months. I think I'll be keeping it up then, maybe not every day, but at least three times a week. I feel really good on it. It hasn't fixed my dizziness or anything, but I think the detox symptoms that I was having are a really good sign and my body feels good. Anybody that has similar symptoms to me or is trying to figure out something similar like this. It can be really hard to feel good in your body, like waking up nauseous and uh, waking up dizzy and nauseous is common. When someone is chronically sick, just chronically struggling with some kind of health issue where you're feeling fatigued with along with it, self-help things, which would be a luxury to someone else, 
they don't feel like that when I do them. So I gua sha a lot for my trigeminal nerve when I was going down the route of it possibly being trigeminal neuralgia, which I think is a side effect from viruses in my system or whatever is going on. And for someone else that might be a little luxury facial massage. But for me, you know, it can make my ears feel clogged up. It can give me tinnitus, it can give me clapping in my ears now. Thank you so much for all the advice in advance. I have gone to so many ENTs. I've had my ears cleaned out professionally. I've had people looking there for dislodged crystals. I had CT scans, I've had everything. So the gua sha does bring on my symptoms, but when I keep it up, it makes them better. When I don't do it, I get really sore in my jaw, my neck and my arm, which is why I'm following those nerves around. Yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is self-care things, which can be a luxury from someone else. We can latch onto it from a perspective of desperation and just wanting something to make you feel better. So living as healthy as I can and doing the exercises, calming myself down, anything to calm the nervous system, anything to prop up the immune system might make someone else feel absolutely amazing. Even cold water therapy. I go into the sea and I know it's good. I know you're getting loads of nutrients through your scalp and everything good. Initially when the cold hits, I get really, really dizzy. It's very disorientating. It's a horrible feeling. And so Similarly, leaving the water then I feel good after but there's this moment of god I have to push myself through this really bad feeling and I know it's coming where someone else would think oh the cold is exhilarating and then I feel amazing where there's a few more steps for whatever I'm dealing with that I don't know what it is and other people with chronic illnesses will appreciate where I'm coming from the things that seem like a luxury for someone else we do them and it's like oh, aren't they so lucky they have a slower pace of life or they get so much more sleep than someone else or they do xyz but there's kind of no real other option because it catches up with you so quickly and then it's completely debilitating so you have to so this smoothie keeping up with the ingredients keeping up with the whole thing I'm just gonna keep it up yeah someone else might be like god you must feel so amazing and you must eat so healthy and blah 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 but one thing I'll say is I have started to feel very long story short I have started to feel better in my body I've started to feel as if I'm sturdier which got that which is just such a, a blessing <laughs> I will upload this as it is um, a check-in kind of across two weeks more so than one and I'm going to check in again in a few months time in three months time but I imagine I'll be keeping this up I'm really really liking it I'll do another video on all the books I've read and other things I've been doing for triple pd so I'll get that up and um, thank you so much